So, but um, next one is the whale trailer. Now, they, we're, we're kind of mixed about this. I know you're mixed about it. You go first. Basically, what is the whale about? Some fat geezer who left his wife and child because he liked a bit of man bum. The man died of monkeypox or AIDS. He went into a fit of depression, decided to eat himself to the point where he's a great big fat mess. And now he wants to make things better with his daughter again. And personally, I couldn't give a fuck about it. I know you don't. Hang on, we're just going to go quickly back to John Wick here. Look, Rainbug has said, the second John Wick is the best. Um, I do like Donnie Yen because, of course, Donnie Yen is in the fourth one. Um, okay. Though um, it cracks me <clears> up <throat> when it sees him every, what's that? Every, every person is an assassin. Oh, I see. Adonis is, is lovely. Knock, knock is a good one. Yeah, it is. Can't deny that at all. Uh, not mm. at all. Um, but no, with the whale, I'm I'm really interested. A, because it's A24, uh, which mm -hmm. 99 times out of 100 do a good job. If you look at the website and look at my review of Bodies, 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 that was a utter oh, pig swill of a movie. Um, yeah. Uh, it's also a return of Brendan Frazier. Because, yep. I mean, Brendan Fraser, when The Mummy came out in, what, 99? Oh, wait a minute. Oh, oh no, was it, was it that late? Hang on, coming back to John Wick again. Worst trailer I've seen. It's not that bad. <laughs> it's I it's mean, a bit cut and paste, Robert Peach, isn't it? I agree, yeah. mate. It's a bit... Like, I, it depends what they're going to do with the story. Well, I was going to say, it depends what they're doing with the story. Because if they can't give away too much in the story, then it is just going to be, you know, a load of gung fu. Um, I don't think it's the worst of one I've ever seen. I've seen I've seen worse, but um, right. Coming back to the whale, or are you talking about the whale? You might be talking about the whale trailer. I apologise, Robert. Uh, if you oh yeah, <laughs> Go see because that <laughs> that's two different things. Because I mean, it's as like a trailer, that in film. As a trailer, uh, yeah, no, that wasn't particularly very good. It was just a teaser, and it was just basically Brendan Fraser being emotional with an emotional background and long shots looking out windows. So yeah. the whale trailer, yeah, it's not that good. But I am looking forward, like I say, Brendan Fraser in 99 could do no wrong. You know, he was doing like George of the Jungle and The Mummy and all that. You know, he was just there having fun and everybody loved him. And then obviously he had this awful sexual experience with some big bloke in Hollywood who got away with it, Scott Frey, but kind of ruined his career. But now to see him coming back and making good, it's a good thing. Listen, it is a good thing because he's he seems like a decent all round top guy, but I'm not interested in this film at all. I think any man that leaves his wife and kid for another man, fucking mentally deficient. So I've got no interest in it. I don't care if if, if Fraser's performance is the best thing since Marlon Brando and The Godfather. I'm not interested in it at all, and I don't yeah, particularly that... like fat people anyway. Mine. See, my sister's. I thought the movie was about my sister because she's a big fat lardo. Um, so, <laughs> the whale looks okay. Most of want to see it for Brandon. Yeah, again, I think um, from what I've heard, his performances and um, where they've been showing the movie and he's been there, he's been getting standing ovations because of his performance. Mm. So, yeah, but is that for his performance? Is that just people, you know, virtue signaling because no one stood up for him when he obviously got touched up? No, see, I like to look on the more positive side and just say it's because of him. Um, and Robert said there, the whale trailer, it was bad. Yeah, no, no, I completely agree. Sorry, like I say, that was not <laughs> the John Wick trailer. You know, the Peach trailer. Uh, yeah, the, um, Robert Peach said uh, the, the, the whale trailer is, yeah, it, it it didn't really give much away. I'm I'm it's definitely going to give it a go. It? Yeah, I'm it's definitely going to give You're it a go because more. it's because it's, it's, it's A24. It depends how much they focus on the gayness i mean that it, it might just be a passing comment is might all it be and it might actually just be about him and his daughter and you know and, and like i say it kind of depends on how the virtual signaling is done because i think just in this day and age you've got to kind of put that stuff in there to get it out i mean it's hardly going to be bro <laughs> you're talking about you're talking about your sex life <laughs> well yeah this is this is our therapy for the week <laughs> Um, but yeah, so the whale's out. So uh, now well, he's Aronofsky as well, isn't he? He's got a good, he's got a good uh, history of films, track record. Yeah. So yeah, again, absolutely. like I say, I'm quite looking forward to that. Uh, the whale, I think it's going to be interesting. 
That was an excerpt from The Outpost Frequencies brought to you by TheLastMovieOutpost.com. We hold a live stream every Sunday at 12 p.m. on Central Time and 6 p.m. UK Time. You're welcome to join us. In the meantime, make sure you visit TheLastMovieOutpost.com for all of your movie news, reviews and everything cool about film. So cheesy.